In this video, we'll be going over how to set up JavaFX in IntelliJ, step by step. Feel free to pause this video at any time to ensure you can accurately follow the steps. Before we jump in, make sure that IntelliJ is installed on your computer. If it's not, check out the link in the video description to download and install IntelliJ. We'll cover four key steps. First, enable the JavaFX plugin. Second, install Scene Builder. Third, set the path to Scene Builder. And lastly, download Scene Builder Kit in IntelliJ. If you're using a recent version of IntelliJ, JavaFX is already bundled with your IDE. However, you should enable and configure it within IntelliJ. First, open up IntelliJ. Then navigate to File, Settings, or use the shortcut, Ctrl, Alt, S for quicker access. Go to Plugins, then the Installed tab. Search for the JavaFX plugin. If it's unchecked, tick the box and click OK. Next, search for Scene Builder and go to the official website to download and install the latest version. Click on the Download Now button. And then download the appropriate file for your system. Run the installation file and follow the prompts to complete the installation. Remember the installation folder for the next step. After the installation is completed, return to IntelliJ and open settings again to set the path to Scene Builder. Navigate to Languages and Frameworks and JavaFX and specify the path to the Scene Builder executable you just installed. Next, open a new project. Select JavaFX, name the project, and ensure that the JDK is installed. Don't worry about libraries for now. Now, in the code editor, select the FXML file. At the bottom, you'll find Scene Builder. Click on Download Scene Builder Kit to install it in IntelliJ. After installation, you will see Scene Builder integrated into IntelliJ. Congratulations, you are now ready to enjoy JavaFX.